For most of this country's history, our immigration policy was open to anyone other than criminals, the insane, and specific Asian countries, without even a background check. Not so today. I actually understand when people are impatient and think that immigrants should go through due process and then they're welcome here. But there isn't this clear line to get in when you're in harm's way in another country. You are mandated, if you take biblical religion seriously, to love the outsider who is seeking refuge in your land. Our treatment of people who come to us to ask for help is the reflection of our soul. It is the reflection of our spirit. How seriously do we take the faith? Are we willing to take some risks together as a community of faith in order to protect human life and basic human rights? Unrestricted by the walls of any one house of worship, faith's support is guided by the desire to uphold human rights wherever and whenever they are denied. And the only way that we know they exist is that the remains exist on the ground. That's the only way. Essentially, that's really what we're looking at, the people we cannot see. The majority of the members of our congregation, they are immigrant. We see them as uh, persons who God created like anybody else. So Kiss is one very good example. Kiersey Martinez, was one of the estimated three quarters of a million undocumented immigrants living uneasily in New York City. Jesus said that we need to love our neighbor as we love ourselves, and God is love. So if we don't show love, then are we really serving God? I think the role of religions and of faith is to call us on who the best of who we are. And loving your neighbor like yourself is hard. That's not easy. Welcome the stranger is hard. But isn't it the fight worth fighting? Isn't that who we want to be as a people?